Okay, good day. So now we will discuss about the incremental search method. So last meeting, we discussed about the bisection method. Now we will discuss this method. So this method is one of the way to find the roots of the equation. So the incremental search method tests the value of the function at evenly spaced intervals and finds the function at evenly spaced intervals and finds brackets by identifying function sign changes between neighboring points. Okay, so here, as you can see, is the Excel. So here is the example to find the root of 2x squared minus 3x plus 0 0.613 equals 0 on 1, 2 using incremental search method approximate to 3 decimal places. So first, so here is the function and use the um, use this interval to find the value of the function. So as I said earlier, so you will find the roots by identifying function change, sign changes between neighboring points. So meaning, if the value of the function of x changes in the sign, so between that interval, nandun yung roots ng equation. Okay, so le first, um, let us solve this equation para mas maintindihan niyo. Okay, since the interval is 0. Point, so gawin lang natin 0. 0.1. Since mag-start pa lang tayo. So, dito ang given daw is between 1 and 2. So, dito mag-start tayo ng 1. Since the um, increment is 0 0.1, magdadagdag lang tayo. So, 1.1, 1.2, hanggang maging to ito. Dulo. Ano po? Then, we will find the value of x. So, ginamit ko na is Excel para mas madali ninyong makita yung kung paano siya isolve. Okay, so, pag magmamano-mano kasi tayo ng solve is mas matatagalan. So, Substitute the, this value dun sa function. So, 2. Times the value of x. Squared. Minus 3x, so 3 times 3 times the value of x plus 0 0.613. Okay. So, ito na yung value ng equation. So, para mas masolve natin siya, ayan, dinarag ko na lang. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung change ng sign is, nandito siyang part na to. Ano po? So, meaning, between this point, na andyan yung magiging sagot. Since ang hinahanap natin is up to 3 decimal places, Ito ulit, gagamitin natin ito between 1.2 to 1.3 and then gagamit tayo ulit ng increment. Itong mag, 
um, ito nung gagamitin natin. So, yun. So, dito, ang gagamitin naman natin na increment is 0.01. Since ang gagamitin na natin is ito, between 1.2 to 1.3 and our increment is 0.01 mag-start tayo sa start tayo sa 1.2 then 1.21 1.22 hanggang 1.3 So, yun. So, ito, since kanina, ganun din yung ginamit ko. Kinapi ko lang siya. Then, masasod na natin ulit ito. So, dadrag lang ulit. Para masod natin hanggang dun sa 1.3. Kasi, eh, um, isasubstitute lang natin yung value ng x para mahanap yung function, the value of the function. So, if we substitute here, 1.2 sa equation na to, is ang sagot is negative 0.107. And then, ayan. So, dito kung mapapansin ninyo, nagkaroon ng changes of sign is between 1.25 and 1.26. So, meaning, between 1.25 to 1.26, yun yung magiging roots ng equation. So, next, we will again use the this method to find the um, approximate roots up to 3 decimal place. So, ngayon, ang gagamitin na natin is 0 0.001. Ito na yung gagamitin nating increment. So, meaning, mag start na tayo dito sa 1.25 and then next is 1.251 next is 1.252 and hanggang 1.26 so ito since kinapi paste ko lang din siya ulit so ito substitute niyo yung value 1.25 to the equation, mahanap yung um, the function of x, which is ito. Negative 0.012. So, dito, ang kailangan lang natin is mahanap ulit natin kung saan ba yung magkakaroon ng changes of sign. Okay. So, dito, lahat negative. So, nagkaroon ng change of sign between 1.255 to 1.256. Ibig sabihin, nandiyan yung sagot. So, since hindi pa tayo sure kung alin dyan yung sagot, gagamit ulit tayo ng increment search method. And then, ang gagamitin naman nating increment is 0 So, dito, gagamit natin is ang, since nagkaroon ng changes of sign is between here, gagamitin natin is, mag-start tayo sa 1.255 
hanggang 1.256 with an increment of 0.0001. So, 1.255, 1.255, 1.2551 then 1.2552 hanggang 1.256 okay then ganun ulit substitute the value of x to the equation we will find um, si, ito ang value niya is negative 0.00195. Okay. Since nagkaroon ng um, change ng sign is between 1.2559 and 1.256, ibig sabihin, yun na yung sagot. Since ang hinahanap natin is 3 decimal place, is ito, since kung i-round off ninyo yung 1.2559 is 1.256. Meaning, ito na yung magiging sagot. Itong 1.256, okay? So, ganun lang yung sa increment method. Medyo mahaba lang siya, pero madali lang naman siyang isolve kasi paulit-ulit lang.